everyone, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. The last time we fought against the False Dragon Titan, captured our final party member in the form of Don Dozo, and this time we're gonna finish off Starfall Street by going to the Fighting Crew base. Eri of the Calf Squad, the boss of Team Star's Fighting Crew, an extremely dangerous opponent, even among the Team Star bosses. She entered the academy on a sports scholarship. Her towering height helps her unleash powerful wrestling moves. Well, there you go. And we're starting off here over at the top of the mountain because I feel like I could just fly on down. Uh, that's about right over there. All right, let's make a big old leap. Woohoo! Man, I love being able to glide like this. It is so nice. It's really beautiful, too, just being able to look over the wide countryside here, seeing wherever we've been. Even the Vincias over there. Sadly, we can't go all the way out, but that's okay. We'll just take a few stops here and there and make our way to where we need to go. This part of the map is, I feel like, like the, the final part, along with the lake, because it's so cool. It's so It feels a little different than what we've been used to seeing in Paldea, even though there's been a lot of stuff where it's just like very varies. I'm not sure if I've been up here yet, so let me just quickly check out the top of this tower. There we go, got another Mimigul chest there. I'll check back with that later, I don't really need the coins down here because we already have Mimigul. So that's fine. There's a poke center right there. Let's just go down there. Uh, should I drop yet? I think so, yeah. Whee! Well, hello there. Full restore, I'll take it. Bonk, there we go. Now, uh, normally, we would have to go all the way around and just weave between everything to get to where we need to go. Now that we have the final power from the storyline with Arvin, we can just climb up walls freely. <laughs> Look at that. It is a lovely feeling just to be able to go wherever you need to go. And sure, it's it's like it's like you're no longer taking the scenic route, you're just going in a straight line. But this has its own thing to it. You know, it feels nice to be able to just go around and straight to where you want to go. It doesn't mean we won't be able to explore anymore. It's just, you know, it's it's up to your Truly your own pace now. You can really go wherever you want to go. <coughs> As a Oswich over there, or a Espatha. I'm getting so used to saying Oswich that it's hard to say Espatha anymore. Alright. We are down here once again. With a lot of new Pokemon. I think Phalanx here is new. Let me just catch that real quick. There we go. It took a little longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> Yeah, we have Phalanx, the formation Pokemon. The Brass, which is the one that stands at the front and issues orders, is the strongest and smartest of the six. I really do like Phalanx. Seeing it for the first time in Pokemon Sword and Shield was like, whoa, what's this? It's just so adorable in its own way and so cool too. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a cough. There we go. There is, I think, like only a few new Pokemon here that we can get. This place overall looks really cool. I really do like this place. There's some Luxray over there. Got some Scyther. Luckily, the Team Star base is not too far off. This place always did feel a little... off, though. Like, it's it feels so... you know, not part of it. But in, in that same sense, it's also really cool. The fact that this is just here. Oh, I just went way down. The fact that this is way here, you know? All right, let's see, what is that? Oh, that's a trainer. I was like, what's that pink thing? <laughs> but it was just a person. Got some Cricketot and Cricketune here. No reason you shouldn't have one already. I think you can find another one near, whatchamacallit, um, the first town we went to, the box in Cortondo. Got an Oranguru over there, which we already have. If you have, po if you have the uh, Pokemon Violet, you should have um, Passimian there, which I actually prefer. I do prefer Passimian. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a slacking. It's a big old one. We already have one because like I said in the last episode I've been doing a little bit of off-camera Pokedex grinding 
just so we don't have to catch a new Pokemon every episode, you know? Uh, let's see, what's this? Ah, uh, shop, but nothing too interesting. Uh, the, the further you are in the game, the higher the star rate is of the Pokemon you can find in those. And I want to hurry along through the final parts so I can do some big old raids. Alright, got some Oongus and Amoongus right here. Oh, he's gone, huh? Can I just... No, he's, he's straight up gone. Well then. Alright, um, how about we quickly heal our Pokémon, because we are nearly at the base. I'd like to heal my Pokémon, please. Alright, everyone is feeling better. I still need a nickname for both my Glamora and my Dodongo, Dodonzo. Uh, because everyone else has a nickname. It feels bad to not have a nickname for them, even at the final parts of the, uh, the game. So, I'll be right back for a moment. Alright, after enlisting the help of some friends on Discord, I've settled upon two names for both Glimora and Dondozo. First off, for Glimora we have Aurora, which I do like, I like that name. It has a, a, a crystalline sound to it, you know? And Dondozo is now Don Craig. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't really feeling the Craig, but you know, it's, it's grown on me ever since, so... Craig, Aurora... Thank you very much for joining the team. I hope you enjoy your time here. All right, let's put Craig up front, and we should make our way over to watch the final base of Team Star. <coughs> Excuse me. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, friendly. Yeah. Friendly, Cassiopeia. Hey. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. They wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, well, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find him? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad's bosses have been stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Cassiopeia's hung up? Alright. Thanks to you, friendly. I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care of that base, Miss Friendly. Ugh, sorry for getting all polite there. I don't know what came over me. Alright, we are only a few steps away now from finishing up Team Star's story. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Wow, the leaders just come out and meet us, huh? Maybe this will be easier than I thought. You're pretty skilled! Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokémon's attacks like that. Same to you, Aerie, was it? Your Pokémon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't trust your grunts enough to put him on guard duty? <coughs> Watch your mouth! I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Let's get a closer look. Who are you? Friendly, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came out without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen! You okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Oh, get away from here, it's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the calf squad. And everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up. Even for just a little bit. Ugh, it's the boss of his squad, I... 
I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a loud hasta la vista from you, nice and loud. A uh, hasta la vista! These two are cute, I like them. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, friendly. My Pokemon are actually learning empty after the last battle. Sorry, Springs, but do you think you handle this grunt? Yeah, fine. <laughs> It'll be the same thing. You know, just battling a grunt and then going in. Nothing you haven't seen before. What you have not seen before is Don Craig getting into battle. Starting off with a Krogan. That looks like a snack for Don Craig. All right, Craig. Time for Aqua Till. What level is this Krogan actually? I didn't really look. Doesn't matter, it's down now. He. <laughs> Primate. Whew! No worries, though. Craig can handle it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's level 55, oh my. Uh, what's order up, actually? Whoops, nope. The user attacks with elegant pois. If the user has a Tuskegee's mouse, it moves boost one user stars. Okay, wow. Well, we don't have a Tatsugiri in our mouth, so we'll just stick to Aqua Tail. Man, we took that close combat like a champ. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Critical hit. Alright, one more hit and we should be done with it. Man, being able to take close combat, which is like one of the most powerful fighting type moves, twice in a row. From a Pokemon that's like three levels higher, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Good job, Craig. I lost, but my defeat is not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! Alright, defeat the guard up front, no worries. This is all things we know now. Scav Squad, area skilled wrestler, and coax the whole team starting Pokemon battling. Volta boss, she's likely to be most alert. She might try to stop the raid and strike by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. <clears throat> I knew it, tell me what happened. I'm, I'm using ventriloquism. She retreated? We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. That's the thing we need to do. <coughs> Before we do, though... <coughs> excuse me. Man, I am really having this cough. I think we should use some of our candy to level up our Pokémon to... the max it can be. Actually, let me just do this. Much easier. <laughs> well, not the max it can be, but like 55, because that was the um, Grunt's highest Pokémon. I feel like that's a good thing. Uh, I think 17 will be fine here. Yeah. All right, we're getting closer. We have a lot of M candy. One more. <coughs> Sweet. Heavy Slam. Ooh. That is a move that is better the heavier we are. I think I'll remove Rain Dance for that. <coughs> All right. I'm thinking 10 should be enough. Ooh, yeah. And then for you. Oh. Eight? No, just two more, too, I think. Two pieces of candy. There we go. And then I'll switch. I think we'll have ten, too, then. There you go. Last resort. No need for that. I do want to quickly look over at Dodonzo's moves from before to see if he has anything that is a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Change moves. Remember. What do we have? Rain Dance. Soak. Dive. Eh. Tackle supersonic water gun. It would be nice if I could teach him something like waterfall. Do we even have that? Let's check it out real quick because waterfall will be in a great move. <coughs> uh, we do have surf. It has more attack, doesn't it? 
Liquidation. Ooh, that might be good. 85 base power. Uh, yeah, it does have more attack. And a lot of defense, too. Aquatil is 90. But it has a chance of missing. So I think I'll go for the slightly weaker liquidation, but with 100% accuracy. <coughs> <coughs> okay, with moves switched up and all kinds of things all set, we should get into the fight. I'm taking Oswich because this is a fighting type base. Uh, Mimigo and... Craig. Change position. There we go. Now let's go in and challenge Team Star. <coughs> Three, two, one, let's go. We're starting off with some Metacham over here. Oswich can handle it. Craig, you take care of that one over there. Got a cute little phalanx. Oh, Craig is already set for more battle. I love how big he is. I love big Pokemon. That phalanx is gonna go down. I'm gonna send Mimigo over to that one and then take the ones over here. It's Craig. All right, Craig. Mess him up. Spathra running over to the targets. We're just blasting through right here. We're just pretty cool. As a little epicness. Ooh, we got some Gallade over here. These guys are not messing around. Probominable? Sheesh. No wonder that the grunts that are work under Eri, <clears throat> who leads all of the battles and such, have such good Pokemon. Alright, Craig, let's go. Mimi Gill, you can go over here. This is. I, I like this path the most. Rather than just running around a camp, you're actually following a set path up to the top. The raid makes it even better, in my opinion. Man, look how big the Simeon is. I never really <coughs> knew how big the Simeon was until I saw it in this game. You can kind of see it how it looks in Sun and Moon, but I feel like. You can't truly appreciate how big it is until you've seen it here. There we go. That's them done. Now it's up to Eri to try and stop me. Boss of Team Star's fighting crew, Aerie. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Alright, bring it on, Aerie. I am ready for you. Starting off with a Toxic Rope. Luckily, our Oswich is more than capable of dealing with a Poison and Fighting type. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Oh yeah, we'll just see about that. Yeah, you better shudder, because we've got Lumina Crash. Oh, Sucker Punch! You know, I should have seen that coming. I give as good as I get, that's a promise. We'll see who's left standing here at the end. Goodbye, Toxic Rogue. You fought valiantly. <laughs> that sucker punch was made for psychic types to just fall into its trap. Lucario, psychic and fighting. Let's hope it doesn't have sucker punch either. It might, it totally might though. It totally might. You know, let's try it. Oh wow! I'm genuinely surprised. If we don't go down in this turn, then. Uh -oh. Yikes. Well, Oswich did really, really well. Alright, we should probably not go for Aurora here. Wiggle might have a good time, but I'm thinking Mimigo is the best to go for. The Dark Pulse will hurt, but I'm hoping that Shadow Ball is going to be enough to take it down. 
before we go down, that is. <laughs> All right, Minigo. Here we go, Shadow Ball. Oof, it is super effective, yeah. We should be able to take one more hit. Nice. <laughs> Annihilate. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. It looks so terrible and familiar. Let's go for Shadow Ball. <laughs> <coughs> Rage Fist, a shadow, a dark, a ghost time. There we go. Yeah, Annihilate is an evolved exclusive for Scarlet and Violet. It is evolved form of Primate. Look how badass it is! It is so. It became so angry it died, and that's cool in its own way. All right, Mimigo, you fought valiantly. Don't worry, we have more people up our sleeve. It's your turn, Wiggle. Yeah. We should go for a Night Slash. I'm hoping we're faster. There we go. Nihilate fainted. What's your next move? A simian, pure fighting type. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Wiggle is going to be weak against Fighting Type, so I'm hoping you just outspeed it and then use Flower Trick to take this thing down. Alright, here we go. Flower Trick. Leave Rough might have been super effective, but I'm banking on the stab and critical. Not quite it, though. Woohoo! <laughs> Avoidance! The power of love! <coughs> That's it for Pissimian. All right. Next up is the fighting type Rev of Room Starmobile. I, I refuse to lose. So please lend me your strength. <clears throat> Powered by two evolved Charcadets. This thing's level 56. Uh, I think I'll just go for Flower Trick. It's pretty much my best move. Wow, still doesn't do that much damage. <clears throat> uh oh, and it's Defense Rose. We may be in trouble. I might need to revive someone. <clears throat> okay. Um. Man, Kazuchu is not going to be really good either because we have Population Bomb. It's going to raise its defense every single time. <clears throat> okay. I'm thinking of going in with Aurora, sludge waving it, and hoping for a poisoning. Oh wait, I should go for Mortal Spin and point it like that, and then I can try and revive <coughs> Mimigo. Alright, Mortal Spin. Whew, avoidance, that's good. We would have gone down to that. Stamina made it go up. I should probably actually revive Ostwitch, to be very honest. It's gonna be much better. <coughs> Also, the thing didn't get poisoned, which is not what I wanted. Oh man, I'm sorry, Aurora. Okay, uh, let's just go for Sludge Wave. Nah, there wins Aurora. This thing is so dangerous. I mean, sure, I can, like, give candy to Oswich and go to, like, level 80 because it'll listen to me anyway. But where's the challenge in that? Okay, let's hope <coughs> that Oswich is going to be faster and that Lumina Crash takes it down a good couple of notches. All right, Oswich, you're up again. Let's go for Lumina Crash. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right. Shift gear. Is that gonna make it faster? Ooh, yeah, it might. Attack two. Sheesh. Okay, let's hope that Oswich can take it. Ooh, 
Oh, just barely. Oh, switch. You rock. Finish it off. Oh, yeah. We did it. Harry was defeated. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. Heh, <laughs> and I could have never evolved my Pokémon without you, Airy. Even the big boss had his thanks to you, your fighting chance against those bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you set up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn. But you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm feeling really tired, I feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and ripped on the gym badge designed to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. I'd like to see you try my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. I know you're part of Operation Starfall. But I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just... Really... Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is a Team Star member you battled the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a, for a talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to me on much friendlier terms with Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? <laughs> oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing ad trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. <laughs> I took to her. I took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along. Then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once the thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri. She chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star are likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, no, I... I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure.
Friendly, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares' star badge? Sure did. Without its boss, the calf squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Ari was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. As to that, they should go soon be back to attending class at the academy. <laughs> nice work out there, friendly. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia! Well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, friendly. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. LP! Get the... More TMs! Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Friendly her bonus reward now. Thanks! Where's Penny, though? At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. <clears throat> There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Y how, though? Don't worry. There's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss... is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Friendly, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. And I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. With this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to the true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can for heading over. <coughs> <coughs> it looks like we still have one final battle against Team Star left over. Next time, we're going over to Cassiopeia and bringing down Team Star for good. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Scarlet. But until then, bye-bye!